If you're getting your spine cracked for scoliosis, here's why you might actually be making your curve worse. Even if it feels better in the moment, I know it sounds dramatic, but as a Schroff Method physical therapist and scoliosis exercise specialist, I get this question all the time. Can spinal manipulation help fix scoliosis? And the short answer is not really. In fact, in many cases, it can cause more harm than good, and I'm going to break down in this video exactly why. My name is Dr. Katie Blanchard, and I specialize in scoliosis-specific exercise using the Schroth Method. In this video, I want to break down two reasons why I don't recommend spinal manipulations as a regular or repeated treatment for scoliosis. Number one, the difference between active and passive interventions. Number two, why we prioritize stability over mobility for the treatment of scoliosis. By the end of this video, you'll understand why quick fixes like spinal adjustments don't lead to long-term correction and what actually does. Let's start with one of the most important concepts in scoliosis care, active versus passive interventions. Active interventions are treatments that require your participation. You're using your own muscles, your own breath, and your own postural control to improve overall alignment. Passive interventions are things being done to you, like spinal traction, an inversion table, or spinal manipulation. Now, I'm not saying passive treatments are always bad, but when it comes to scoliosis, we want to train the body to self-correct. That means learning how to expand the rib cage, elongate the spine, and use muscular symmetry to realign the spine over time. When you're just lying on a table and someone forcefully pushes your spine into the opposite direction, it may feel better for a day or two with getting your spine manipulated. But you didn't actually train your body to hold that new position. It was forced into place and it won't stay there. Now let's talk about mobility versus stability for the spine. Manipulations, whether from a physical therapist, a chiropractor, a DO, are designed to improve mobility. You're adding movement to a joint segment. For someone with a stiff, straight spine, this could be really helpful. But with scoliosis, especially in adolescents or hypermobile adults, there's already too much movement in certain directions in the spine, including rotation, torsion. So here's what happens with repeated manipulations. You're adding segmental mobility to an already unstable spine. This can increase the risk of curve progression over time, and you start relying on these passive treatments instead of building self-control and maintenance of your own spine. It's like constantly loosening a joint that already moves too much with manipulation. You're not fixing the root issue, which is how to control the spine with stability. This is another question I get a lot. If scoliosis is a rotation of the spine, why can't we just rotate it the opposite way by manipulating or cracking the back? Well, here's the problem. Even if a manipulation temporarily moves the spine in the opposite direction, you're still introducing segmental motion. And in scoliosis, that can be a little bit risky. The more movement we allow in the curve area, the more potential there is for the curve to worsen. Plus, spinal manipulations involve high velocity, low amplitude forces. That's the quick thrust you hear as the crack in the back. And while that might relieve pain short term, it's not fixing the curve. It's just giving you temporary relief or temporary alignment without addressing the overall asymmetry. If you really want to address scoliosis non-surgically, focus on active interventions like the Schroff Method, the most research-based exercise for scoliosis. This means curve-specific positioning, expanding and reshaping the torso and rib cage, elongating the spine, strengthening the hips, shoulders, and postural muscles, and learning with all of this how to self-correct your own spine and musculature. This is how you build long-term postural changes and alignment, and more importantly, independence in managing your own spine. To be clear, I'm not saying you should never get a spinal manipulation once in a while for pain relief, that's okay, but repeated aggressive spinal adjustments especially multiple times a week or multiple times a month, can do more harm than good for scoliosis. If you're serious about managing your curve long-term and want support beyond your once a week sessions, I invite you to join 
the Scully Club Hub. It's our online shroff exercise database, group class, and community platform where you get weekly access to me for questions as well as support with a community who understands scoliosis and what challenges you're facing daily. To join, text the word CLUB to 708-729-6282 to get everything you need to get started. Again, just text CLUB to 708-729-6282. I can't wait to see you inside.